What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Hopefully we'll do well and not poorly. That's uh, that's my desire for all Vintage Cube Drafts. Last one, if you may remember, we Ulmogged in the third round, and they had a Tamiyo out. So they actually wouldn't have had to sacrifice anything because of Tamiyo. But they didn't realize that, and neither did we. So then, when we put Ulmog into play, they just conceded. So, got an Urza here, which is way stronger than Magma Opus. I So here's the funny thing. This describes my play style in a nutshell. The things I enjoy. I like Magma Opus and Cruel Ultimatum significantly better than Urza. Urza, however, is the better card. What can you do? I want to take one of these two because they're cool and I really enjoy them. And I think when you can actually resolve them, it feels good. I I would definitely take Urza over Glorybringer. I think we're going to do that, in fact. And if either one of these three comes back, buddy, oh, Fractured Identity, you're just going to pass me a Fractured Identity? Is that right? Well, okie dokie. Artichoke, I'll just take a Fractured Identity. I like a Steam Vents and a Prismatic Vista. I like a Fury. Wow, that's pretty good. I would be a Jeskai deck with a Fury and an Urza and a Fractured Identity. I'll do that. If Meyer, Vista, or Steam Vents comes back, that would be nice. I doubt it. But we'll see. Here's a Sacred Foundry. Uh, nothing super exciting in here. I don't think we have... Enough to justify dig through time yet. I don't care about either Flux Reservoir. I like Flesh Gorger a lot. I just don't. We're not black. I think if I think this card is only really really good if you're able to cast it for its black cost or for its seven mana cost. I like saying the opposite card. I mean, Glorybringer is good. Don't get me wrong. I think Glorybringer was probably top six cards in that pack. Maybe top five. But I wouldn't take it over an Urza. Oh, an Iron Mesa and a Flooded Strand? Jeez. We're definitely taking Flooded Strand. We want the we want the main blue. And getting Arid Mesa makes this a dual land. Flooded Strand makes it a tri land. Sea Chrome Coast. I mean we can just keep taking good good lands. Good lands make the world go round. And by world, I mean your deck. I do like being able to cast my spells. Same. Same. Oh, what up, McGimp? <sighs> Where's this... Where's our, where's our, where's our next pick? Is the internet crashing? Is Magic Online crashing? What's happening? I need an adult. Marsh Flats. Thank you. Coalition Relic. Mm. I'll begin with the sub. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for the sub, my dude. Do we just relic here? Are we just relicking? I think it's better than Mana Leak in this deck. We want to be able to... Like, it ramps us to five, which is kind of nice. It also works well with Urza. I'll take a relic. Karma Karma Guide? Do you mean Karmic Guide? You savage. You absolute heathen. Oh, fudge. Oh, shit. Yep, we're just taking Dream Halls. We're going to see 
we're going to put in the sideboard. I think it's worth taking dream halls over like Inferno Titan. And if that cruel ultimatum comes back or that magma opus comes back, we're going to feel real validated. Fuck. <laughs> so, shit. Boy, they're really getting me, aren't they? Ugh, son of a bitch. Oh, it's got to be this one. Just bring it down. Just, just bring it on down. Put this in there. Okay, well, it's happening. God, I'm a sucker for dream halls. Well, these picks, I feel like these picks are taking a while to pop up. Savai Triome. You are a mountain and a plains. Which we already have one of. Is Hullbreaker Horror just better here? Probably. Yeah, I'm going to take the Horror here. Alright, this pack is actual poops magoops for us. I guess I'll take Blightsteel in case we get a Tinker. Since we already have an Urza. Send him on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? Send him on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> Dude, still gets me the improv in that in that skit. Yeah, it's wild. Opposition. That's a late opposition. I don't think we're oppositioning, but I guess I'll just... I, I'll take it anyway. It's not Savannah, right? There's no benefit to a Savannah. Oh, Snap is actually pretty decent. I also don't hate Seething Song. We'll take a Snap. Wishclaw Talisman? Sure. Steamkin. Okay, that was a bunch of, bunch of poop last picks, but this is a decent... Eight plus three good lands. It's 11, 11 out of 15. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. I like a Triumph. I also like a Dak Faden a lot. Dak Faden also digs for the things we want. I hope this Rogren Triumph comes back, but I'm going to take this Dak. Solitude's also very, very good. If Solitude, Ledger Shredder, or Rogren Triumph come back, I'll be thrilled. Also, being able to discard a Lightning Bolt to cast a Cruel Ultimatum with Dream Halls is pretty sweet. That's just a regular old-fashioned counter spell. That's not bad. Xander's Lounge. We could just cast Cruel Ultimatum. I, I wish the, the black wasn't what was triple here. Um, I kind of just like counter spell. No great artifacts. I do like a cryptic command. I think counterspell is probably just better here. It's just a little easier to cast. Gives us some action. I think we're... Do we just want Demonic Tutor? Jeez. I mean, Demonic Tutor seems really good, especially for Dream Halsing. Triplicate Titan if we hit Flash. We don't have it. I think we're just taking Demonic Tutor here. There's an Atali, which we can just cast. Is Flash in this cube? I don't know. Hard to say. I like Snapcaster here. We already have Snap, Counterspell, and Demonic Tutor. A 
this deck is just mono good cards, but we really kind of want uh, some more lands. I feel like the lands have been drying up in some of our, our most recent drafts. There's a Rafine's Tower, actually. That's pretty decent. It does cover Demonic Tutor, Fractured Identity, and Blue, which is nice. I do also like Time Warp with Dream Halls, but I think I'm just going to go with the Tower here. We can also get it with Flooded Strand. Actually, if we pick up an Urborg, it might make Cruel Ultimatum castable. And then we wait. I mean, I could say we take out Fractured and just be Grixis, but we have Sea Chrome Coast, Sacred Foundry Tower, and Flood is Dram. We have four sources of white right now without even five, without even batting an eyelash. So, oh, a Celestial Colonnade. I also don't mind a Talisman. I also like Grief a lot as well. Good, good grief. I kind of like Talisman here. It lets us play our turn four and five drops a lot earlier. Oh, wow. They were just going to, they were just going to give us our, our coalition relic back. Godless shrine splashes white splashes black, and we can get it off flooded strand. Don't think we're double black Liliana. We're not a regent deck. Yeah. I think it's just godless shrine here. Reflecting pool is an interesting, an interesting suggestion. I actually like reflecting pool. Uh, let's take a duress here. I, I, we might just be Grixis splashing white. I think that seems correct. Oh, ledger shredder came back. Okay, that was the only one that came back, but nevertheless, still pretty good. We really want some dream halls hits though. I do like a Guardian Scale Lord. Jeez. Hmm. Well, if we're actually main Grixis, I'm going to take this Chandra. This is only pack two. I actually feel like we're doing pretty okay here. Triplicate Titan does make for good Tinker and Flash if we hit those. I don't care about Faithless Looting or Light of the Stage. Yeah, we're just going to take the Titan here. Now we have Titan and Blightsteel. That's a late... Oh, we're taking Atali for sure. I was going to say that's a late Ugin, but Atali we can actually cast off of Dream Halls. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Creeping Tar Pit. <laughs> Deal. That's nice. That's a nice little, a nice little treat. Yeah, that guy's even fine. Maybe he makes the cut. Oh, here's Wally. Hey, champ. Do we have anything good here? Not really? Okay. I kind of like Tefri here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? I feel like Teferi is probably the best pick here. You want to go down? Okay. Yeah, we're just going to take Teferi. Especially with Dream Halls. Like, them not being able to interact with your Dream Halls shenanigans is pretty strong. Oh, Inspired Ultimatum. Inspired Ultimatum and Cruel Ultimatum are the main reasons to go Dream Halls. Um, God, there's Talisman, Tundra, One Ring, and Torrential Gear Hulk that I all that I like. I don't actually think Torrential Gear Hulk's great in our deck. We only have Counterspell and Snap, so not okay. We can put that guy aside. One Ring's fine. I really want the Tundra. I think it's Tundra, and we bank on Inspired coming back. That's that's my feeling, especially after taking Teferi. I'm crossing my fingers that that's not a mistake. I do like a Seed Shark. I do like a Brazy Bee. I think Seed Shark's really good. It's also probably really good in our deck. We also have a Talisman, which is another great way to cast a Chondron too. I kind of like Talisman here. Also, Toxic Deluge is very, very good. Jeez. I don't think I want double white palace jailer, but otherwise he's very good. We also don't have a lot of creatures to pressure in case we lose the monarch. I think it's either Chrome Host or Toxic. Just not sure which. I think Seed Shark is probably going to be better, especially with Urza. That's an Emrakul. <laughs> no real way for us to cast it, unfortunately. But that is an Emrakul. Also Expressive Iteration and Narset. <sighs> I think it's Narset here. God, I have a tough, I have a tough time passing an Emrakul. Do you have any way to play an Emrakul? Not really, right? I think it's Narset. Oh, 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 why? Why is this still here at fifth pick? Oh my God. Done. Slam it. Oh. That's insane. That's insane. Fantastic. Poor Katie's ears. Yeah, she's just going to hear about the Lingus all night. She's still at work, though. Uh, Colicon's command seems very good. Yeah, we're just taking a, a K command here. Oh, a Blood Crypt is fantastic. Yeah, we're taking Blood Crypt. I would love a, a fetch land that could go get a Blood Crypt. That would be cool. I don't think we're going to get it, though considering this is... Oh, this is the last pack, so it doesn't exist. Fire Covenant is fine. Come on, Inspired Ultimatum. Okay, Black Cleave Cliffs. Also very, very good pickup here.
Yes. Excellent. There it is. There's that sweetie boy. None of these cards seem very exciting. P and Karen L R is probably just fine. We're not going to play it, I think. So we're splashing black for Colagon, Demonic, and Duress. Well, let's just take an Incinerate. We're splashing white for Teferi and Fractured and Fourth. And then it looks like we're kind of base. This deck looks kind of sweet. I hope we don't lose. <laughs> That's... The problem with this deck and Dream Halls is that we don't have any draw sevens. I'm not even sure we saw any. We didn't. I don't think we saw Sound of the West, Echo of Eons, Time Spiral, or Time Twister, or Wheel. So, um, we can. I also, I do like Narset and Dak. Where Narset, you make them draw two with Dak, and then they have to discard two. There's an Omnath. I'll take a Blood Tithe Harvester. Sure. Take a Knight of Autumn. Sure. Take a Manamorphose. I think this is the deck. I, I think this is all we need. And we can also board in Fire Covenant if we really need it. Or Incinerate. We got these two guys and then just nothing to really... The problem with Dream Halls is that nothing shares it. Like, you can't cast an Eldrazi off of it. Like, just nothing shares a color with that. This mana base is looking sweet, though. Um, yeah. So we're just going to put all of these guys on top of each other. Bring all this over here. Okay. Well, definitely heavy blue. So white sources, if we add a, we add a planes, we have one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seems totally fine. I also do want to have a higher concentration for Teferi. Black, we have one. If we let's say we do one of each. So we have one. Dominance two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Might not even need a swamp. We don't have any ways to search for a basic swamp, so it's not really doing us any favors. And we have eight black sources for only, like, three black cards outside of Cruel Ultimatum. That seems pretty good. And we have Relic. Yeah, all right. Red, we have, let's say, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have to cut anything, though. I mean, snapping back Duress, Demonic Tutor, Fractured Identity, Fourth Eorlingus, Counterspell, and Snap all seems very good to me. I don't know. That seems totally fine, especially when we don't need to cut something. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we go to one more here because a lot of double red, a lot of early red. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're definitely going to one more blue too. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's that's the mana base. Seventeen lands, perfect. All right. Ugh. Let's sort by mana value and screen cut this just so we can. And we didn't really get any power. Like, we didn't get Mana Drain. We didn't get Soul Ring. We didn't get any Moxes. We didn't get a Lotus, Time Walk, Ancestral. Like, none of the hits. But I feel like we're pretty consistent. Like, we just have cons we just have very good, good cards rather than broken cards.
<laughs> yeah, for those who don't know, uh, my Innistrad Horror Cube goes up tomorrow. So looking forward to that. Uh, it will be running on Magic Online through October 18th through November 1st. So you got two weeks. Hopefully you guys like it. It's not a power cube, but it is powerful. There's not, there's no moxes or there's not, you know, there's no actual power in the, in the cube, but it's definitely, um, it's closer to like a legacy cube or like a modern cube, probably. So thank you. Oh, some of with the resub really appreciate you, my dude. I wonder if this round is ever going to start. Who can say, you know, who can say. Two minutes, huh? This is actually the, one of the longest amount of time I've had to wait for a for a draft to fire in a long time. Wanna go outside? Go outside. All right. Let's keep this one. This seems good. Tower into Talisman into Coalition Relic. That's better than mine. I just hold Hunt. I just... Uh, that's actually fine. You get to take Snap. Yeah, cool. I have Snapcaster. Fantastic. So I'll just play this guy and pass, I guess. Into Cliffy's. Into Tally. Into these two. Oh. All right. Well, this hand is worse, so that's unfortunate. Uh, great. Roll again, huh? Or collective again, huh? Okay. Sure. Yep, discard old Woody. Demonic Tutor, huh? What do you get? Well, for right now, we're just playing this guy. We could Demonic Tutor for a counter spell next turn and just keep that up. Scarab God. Ledger Shredder, Demonic Tutor. They're going to get Woodfall Primus back if we don't have a way to deal with this guy, which I don't think we do currently. What two mana cards do we have? They took our snap both times, so that's that's fun. Um, I think we just go Ledger Shredder, Demonic Tutor for like Dream Halls, maybe. Oh, 
never mind. <laughs> I guess we probably get a land here because I assume they're going to get back Woodfall Primus and kill a land. From a graveyard. That's that's frustrating. I guess we're getting rid of Kolagon's command. It doesn't really do much here. Oh boy. Um, I wish I had a way to put two lands into play. That would be cool. I think we're just getting a red source. They're probably gonna kill Rafine's Tower, so do we have a we have a blood crypt is probably where we want to be. Unexciting, but what can you do? Their turn's gonna be just reanimate Woodfall Primus. Yeah, they're gonna do I'm gonna do it instantly. I want to get that free scry. Sure. Yep. <laughs> ah, you fool. Yep, take five. That's fascinating. I don't want them to get back Fury, though. That would be pretty bad. I also don't want to pitch Hullbreaker Horror, or uh, to pitch Cruel Ultimatum, so... I mean, fingers crossed they have nothing, I guess. They put one on the bottom. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> what? That doesn't seem correct. Oh, they just have an answer for this. So, sure. that's That seems incredibly correct then. Great game. All right, well. Kind of want collective brutality instead of something here. Man, if only they didn't rip away our entire hand with the Time Twister. That would have been cool. Take out Hullbreaker Horror. That guy seems like poop. Two lands, huh? Ledger Shredder? All right. One more land for Dak would be fantastic. That would be... Cool. Double mox deck. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Dak steal their mox is a great play if they don't take the Dak. Off of their turn. What? They didn't play a land? What? Oh, they accidentally just forgot to play a land? Cool. <laughs> oh, I couldn't him to Toraki as efficiently as I wanted to. Oh, darn it. Cool. <sighs> Phenomenal. Oh, man. 
Last game, Thoughtseize to take my Fury so they can reanimate it to kill my only blocker. Discarding Woodfall Primus to make sure I don't have the correct mana for... Uh, Dream Hall's the turn I needed it. Guess we're just passing here. I mean, our hand is good, but they have five cards. We're not going to fracture identity a Mox Jet or a Mox Sapphire. I could play Fury just to play it, but I don't think it's going to survive. Oh, good. Atali and Woodfall Primus. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, you got it. Let's loot. Let's discard Fury. Yep, you got it. It's too bad none of the cards in my hand are instants. Wouldn't that be nifty? <laughs> oh, Lord. We're having a good time. Who's not having a good time? I'm going to mana drain. <laughs> oh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, dude. Ah, good times. Yeah, get in there. Ancient tomb into Ulmog? Oh, because they have because they have the two floating. Yeah, no. I guess they just wasted it. I mean it's just hard. Like our deck seems good and it seems fun. And but like once you don't have power, it's a legacy cube deck and not a vintage cube deck. So like we just can't compete with double mocks, mana drain, time twister. Like we just can't. Yep. Make sure to get my black source. I don't even want to persist this guy because if they get rid of it, then it just comes back to their come back goes back to their hand. White source, Chandra. Ah, wonderful. What? Wait, they got my they got my second blue. That's interesting. Well, Chandra doesn't do anything here, unfortunately. So I guess we're not doing that. I guess we're just passing and taking five. If Chandra said you may play that card, I might risk just playing it to see if I can hit a land. But having to cast the card is pretty rough. Would love to hit a, a white source for Teferi here. That would be cool. Not that one. <laughs> but okay. I mean, the odds of them not having a counterspell for Teferi is like 0%, but they probably just have Fire Blast and they're going to like... They're just going to cast it off of one mountain somehow, so... Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure they have, like, a counterspell here. I'm just gonna... Oh! Whoa! Well, then. Bounce that idiot. Play land. 
Wish I had another blue source, but they killed it. So now I can't play Narset as well. All right. Well, <laughs> we're not dead, I guess. And they're at six. Hold on. They're just going to kill us. They're going to... Sure. Hmm. Do I have an efficient way? No, there's nothing we can really grab. We can get a goblet shrine, I guess. We could demonic tutor. <laughs> we can go get goblet shrine and go to one. Don't think we want to do that. I think we're just taking demonic tutor here, playing flooded strand, and then passing. Definitely not interested in taking three here. They just keep playing lands, which is good for us, I guess, but. There's the Goblet Shrine. It's going to be Dream Halls. A mountain. I will not cast it. I'll put you to four. Let's go... Yeah, once one time we called uh, Dream Halls, and then it was we drew Dream Halls. Next, we were going to search for Gala Shrine, and we draw Gala Shrine. So that's good times. What can we hit here that we actually care about? Fourth Eorlingus? Should have done this for three, I think. But if they have a lightning bolt or something, I just don't want to go to... Yeah, see, like, if we crack this, then we're just dead on board. Oh, you're just playing it even though my turn isn't over. That's interesting. Well, Narset dies no matter what. So I think we take... That's interesting. Can we cast this? Red, red, red. White, white. If we get a white here, we actually can cast it. So I'll just take that and we can just play this and say no. And now we have Inspired Ultimatum literally on, on board. We have blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue. Uh, we need we need one more blue source, I guess. No, we don't. Blue, blue, red, 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 white, white. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. Talk about uphill battles here, man. I wish we had some way to deal with their graveyard nonsense, but... We do not. I mean, it's funny because we have Collective Brutality, Duress, and Counterspell. Like, we have a bunch of early stuff that should be decently disruptive, along with Teferi, Dak Faden. We're just not... Like, it, Dak Faden is so much worse on turn three than it is on turn two, and that's the big problem. hand's really rough <laughs> uh, do I keep it on six 
I mean, we can go turn three relic into duress. We don't have any blue sources. Yeah, this seems much better. We can pitch a tolly here. Every game. <laughs> uh, it never fails. They have it every game. <laughs> Fantastic. Sweet mold of five or six. It's like a relic. Fascinating. Well, they know about this, but I don't really care. That's fine. I'd rather just get it down. I don't want to be in a situation where, like, I am i don't put down Sea Chrome Coast because it's just not convenient after this turn. Unlikely, but... Counterspell into Snap Counterspell could be very good. Tap land. Beautiful. So now we not only have four mana, we have a black for Kolagon's command. And next turn we get to easily play this combo if we need to. No, definitely not. Absolutely not. Collective Brutality. I don't care about that right now. Hmm. That's pretty good. I think we can just sit there and hold, though. Because we have nothing else to do, really. That's why. It's not like I'm like, instead of playing this, I'm just going to not do anything. Nice. Beautiful. So end of turn, we can definitely kill their mocks and make them discard something. Just casting Brazen Borrower. Interesting. Sure. That's fine. I'll take three. So I do think they have mana drain. Oh, wow. That was very good. Maybe they did not have mana drain. Or they're just like, they f 6 and didn't... I don't know. But now we're in upkeep. So that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Where's the dream halls when you need it? Hmm. I think we're just passing here. Trinket Mage. What do you get with a Trinket Mage? I guess you get your Mox, Mox Jet. But, like, we can Snapcaster, Kolagon's Command, kill Mox Jet, and Trinket Mage. 
Yep. Reanimate Brazen Borrower. Fascinating. They have four cards, one is a Mox Jet. This is very interesting. Uh, let's discount. Cool. You. Brazels. Reel your hand. Kill a creature. Black. Red. Discard snap. Animate dead Mox Jet deck Faden. Okie dokie. That's unfortunate. And we whiff. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, shields are down. If we hit a land, we can kill their Ashen Rider. Animate dead Mox Jet deck Faden. So they're getting back Ashen Rider for sure here. There's Animate Dead. Oh, they're killing Narset. Did they draw Time Twister? Mox Jet Time Twister would be really fascinating. They did not. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that feels good. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess we win that match. I did not expect to win against the Double Mox uh, Time Twister Mana Drain deck, but here we are. Sometimes Fractured Identity and Slow Mana gets there, I guess. Wow. Yeah, you don't know about Brazzles? Oh, that was. That was something, man. Uh, my cube goes up tomorrow, if that's what you're asking. Ha ha ha. So, you know, that's exciting. And I would like to consider that a cube. Where does it go up? It goes up on Magic Online. <laughs> the place we're playing the cube right now. Where else would it go up? I don't <laughs> I don't I don't even know what that means. Oh, it could be Arena, I guess. I understand. Um yeah, it's uh it's the Innistrad Horror Cube. It's going up on Magic Online. It'll be up from October 18th through November 1st. So hopefully you guys will be interested in that and check it out. That would make me really really happy I would be really thrilled if you chose to do that I guess we'll keep because really what planet is the cube being played on uh we're gonna actually be playing it on earth this time next time we're considering Mars possibly Mercury depending on the weather uh. Earth, boring, I know. 
everyone's getting a little tired of it, but what can you do, you know? In my head, I was like, come on, Mox. And then I was like, wait, we don't even have that. Yeah, I'm not going to hold my breath for Elon to do anything that's beneficial for mankind. Oh, a tundra. That's a beautiful, a beautiful thing. So next time we can go Chrome Host Seed Shark. Then we can hard cast a Fury or a Fracture Identity. Are they going to untap that guy? No, just a good old-fashioned three mana. Oh, boy. Okay. Cruelly, boy. One, two, three. Cromoly. So we got two red. This planes is really going to muck up our cruel ultimatum. Are we winning? Who knows? We're up around if that if that counts as winning. Three, two, huh? No blocks. Crack those clues. Unfortunately, cracking the clues makes our fury so much worse than that. We can't kill this guy and something else. And if they crack the other clue, we definitely can't. Whether our Merkel is likely to be poison gassy. Yeah, maybe. 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 Oh, a Hullbreaker Horror, huh? That guy's big and beautiful. He's beautiful, it's true. I'm just going to cast this. I think it's totally fine to cast. They only have one clue that they can utilize. Maybe I get blown out by some kind of monstros, monstros counter spell. We're just going all four to this guy. Just hit him in the dome. All right, he's dead. That's all I wanted. Did you see my new Frank pick? Oh my God. I don't think so. Jesus God. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All right, they cracked that clue. Oh, God, they're making six mana? Jesus. It's going to be a clue. Oh. Fascinating. That's fascinating. God, they're just really... Really on this clue train, you know? John Clue Train. <laughs> oh, boy. Fascinating. Do I fracture identity this guy and then play creeping tar pit? That feels decent because they don't have any other creatures. No. One, two, three, four. Five. Plus we get a five five out of it, so that's kind of cool. Kerwit, I'll see you later, buddy. You're going to do something. You're going to crack the clue. Got it. This is good. This means I'm probably getting away with it. Also, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One more mana. We get to flash in Hullbreaker Horror. Unfortunately, we're one black and one blue away from casting Cruel Ultimatum. But really, that's not... Whoop. 
what is this? <laughs> oh yeah. So this is what Stuart posted in the chat when we were talking about our opponents, like typing madly in the chat. Oh, well, listen to me. Also, what is this room I'm in? All right. Fiend artisan. Totally fine. Totally fine. That's not going to do it. That guy's too slow for his own business. I really love artifacts that do a thing for two mana, like incubator tokens, clue tokens, food tokens. I appreciate all of them. Oh, we can snap this guy and then just win, right? Can we snap and cast scrolls mana? No, we're one mana shy. If we had seven mana, we could. We could float this planes mana. We could use planes mana for this and then float the colors we need and then untap with those colors. Give me that incubato. I like that it highlights their man. Would you like to untap their lands? I would not. I respectfully decline. What are they doing? What are you doing? Drawing a card. I will presume the game is over in that case. I understood. I was also going to activate Creeping Tar Pit just for the, just for the assurance. Not really Rubbins, because I don't know what they have, but, you know. I don't think anything else here is maybe incinerate just for their dorks. I kind of like incinerate. Let's take out Hallbreaker Horror. We have enough big stuff. This has been a Dream Halls deck that we just don't get to cast Dream Halls, so that's worse, but. Um, hello? <laughs> Nothing exciting, nothing terrible is really the best you can ask for in residency, I think. Sometimes I respond to Katie's Facebook messages, which is our primary means of communication. And instead of checking them, she just jumps in the stream. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she back. She said I'd check them. She checks, she probably checks them on the... Actually, she she doesn't have them visible on the lock screen, so I don't know, man. Okay, I wanted to check and make sure I hit submit this time, because last time I hit sub, I hit, thought I hit submit, and then I did not hit submit. So. Have a good night, bye. Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> AMC, have a good night, buddy. Uh, this hand is interesting. I like bouncing their blocker fourth ear lingusing. We can keep this. We're on the draw, too. Come on, our one talisman. That's a godless shrine. That lets us duress. I'll duress. Wins and dismember. Fascinating. Which do I care about more? I'd rather you have wins. I'd rather get a bunch of lands in this deck. Like, if you want to kill three of my guys and give me three lands so I can cast Inspired Ultimatum, good deal. Also, their hand is pretty terrible. Like, they can play Augur and we can just bounce it. It's a wind-win situation. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. Okay, why did you say, oh, dear, my dear?
Okay. We finally passed. Super Fritz bad joke. <laughs> that's just a, you mean that's just a Super Fritz joke. Super Fritz jokes are so bad they're usually very good. That's the that's the catch, isn't it? Okay, so you drew a Sylvan library. It's a good save. We're definitely gonna tutor here. Dude, if we have Mana Crypt, we can go next turn. Mana Crypt, fourth year Lingus for four. For three. <laughs> for some amount of numbers. What do we want? Teferi. I am aware of the effect I have on women. <laughs> You said people, I said women, because that's what Charles Minor says. So, uh, Teferi. Beautiful. So, big Tefs into Bounce Your Guy, fourth Eurolingus. What is the best treat for a 13 year old kitty? That is a good question. How are their teeth? How are their, how are their teeth doing? He's still got all their teeth. I've come to realize that pets lose their teeth a lot more than you think they do. I assumed you meant to ask Mean Monger. <laughs> yes, that was. Little Man is big into French fries, and he never was until Katie started feeding him French fries. I'm going to be honest, I, this is a tough. I think you're taking fourth year Olingus. It's probably the best card you can get. Fantastic. And Augurini. Boy, I wish I could get fourth year Olingus back. Snapcaster Mage. Blood Crypt. A fascinating... So this guy's gone. So is your swamp. This gentleman... Pop that back in your hand. Oh, Urza's a great play next turn. Hmm. Also, I kind of like snapping their creature back to their hand again and then playing Urza. Churus. What are churus? We've never given Low Man any churus. Interesting. So they have they only have wins in hand. Oh, a little seedy boy. Just keep replaying that creature. Also, we're looking reasonably close to just casting Inspired Ultimatum. We have five mana with six here. We have two of the three red, two of the white, and two of the blue. So we just need one more red source, and we can actually cast Inspired Ultimatum, which is kind of cool. Is catnip just like drugs for cats? Why is that a thing? I've also wondered that myself. It definitely seems to have a very, very drug-like effect on cats. Yeah, they act on the opioid receptors in the body. Is that healthy for them? Or are we just doing it because... Like, do they... Okay, two questions. Is that healthy for them and should we be doing it? And B... Is there an addictive potential for that? Weirdly, Ollie, Annie's cat, doesn't even notice catnip. Couldn't care less about it. 
Probably not. They probably get a come down effect. Probably not to the addiction or that we should be doing it. I don't know. Let me find some papers. Okay. These are the kind of questions I like asking Katie. And she's like, I don't know. We don't know all of this. And I'm like, mm, that's fair. I don't appreciate it, but it's fair. Um, okay. So this is actually great. We can play Chandra into Seed Shark. Can we do it the other way? One, two, three. One, two, three. We cannot. But this lets us, this lets us play Ultimatum next turn. Or we can just kill like Courser of Crufix. They don't have any white for Winds of Abandon, let alone two white, so that's interesting. Oh, boy. Well, let's plus this guy. I guess that's true. Like, addictions can't be created because we just deny them the... the catnip. One, two, three, four. We play Chandra. We get two mana and one mana. Or we get... Four mana. Four mana doesn't do anything. If we play shark for three, we have a shark. And then we have one, two, three mana. Chandra actually lets us cast Inspired Ultimatum next turn. I think we're foregoing the three drop. Now, let's keep that up. We're just going to keep up our creatures here. So they're getting survival, but we know they only have wins in hand. We could also just kill one of their creatures as well. Which gives them much, much fewer mana. I mean, much fewer. I mean, one more, one fewer mana. They, right now, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Puts them down to six. Wins needs two white to overload. I don't foresee a way for you to do that. I think we just kill it. I think we just kill the Courser. They only have one creature that can attack. I would be surprised if they could do that. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit another blue source, we can actually just plus Teferi to cast Inspired Ultimatum during their turn. That's kind of cool. Oh, I got Watson in the little dog bed over here. All right, go to your main phase. Let's see what you got. Okay, that seems fine. That's one of the, the two white that you need. Boy, I wish I could really divide up the damage here. Being able to kill these three would be great. That's frustrating, because now we either have to... Oh, we lose Teferi? I don't think I want to lose Teferi. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but then we oh we actually no, we 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 are we have a redundancy here. We need to hit a land, basically. Or we can just lose Teferi. I don't think I want to lose Teferi. I think Teferi drawing us a, a card is significantly more important. 
But this draws us five cards. Good gravy. Yeah, I, I think even if we don't cast it next turn, we're still in really good shape. I'd rather just block this guy. I mean, we know their last card is Winds of Abandon. I don't think they've had any way to put it back or, or like get rid of it, so. And if they get rid of Tefri with Winds of Abandon... Oh, they can't because this guy just came into play. But I'd be like, okay, that's fine. All right. Blue source. <laughs> Every time. Every time, huh? Um, so Tefri, we can bounce one of their guys. I don't necessarily care about the Winds of Abandon. And Tefri's, like, a static ability just doesn't do much here. Hmm. That'll do. All right. Choose a player. Target player gains five life. I will choose myself. Deal damage to Augur. And we'll pay white, white, red, blue, blue. Draw five. Can't really do much now that we have no lands left, so we'll just pass. So they have Noble and Winds that we know of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I like going Ledger Shredder into Seed Shark looting and then Colagon's commanding something to make a 3-3. Three, three. Let's put these in order. I feel like you're telling us a lot about your bias against cats. This might sound weird, but I think it's good that cat names are just cats. Cats seem like they do drugs. Dogs seem too wholesome to enjoy drugs. Okay, so they have Winds, Noble, and whatever they drew this turn. Not being able to play lands from the top of your library, though, is pretty good when you don't have... when you have Sylvan Library out, though. Killing Chandra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I honestly think Chandra is better than than Urza here. <laughs> Plus, we can actually Kolagon's command get Urza back. Oh, that guy's that guy's big and frightful. Hmm. Well then, so let's we do not have enough for cruel ultimatum. I don't really want to hit that. Plus two. God, Elder Gargross a beating. Fuck, that's frustrating. Play this guy. Blue, red. Play. 
play this guy. Looty Tooty. Dreamy boy. Okay, okay, that's good. What's the play here? We can get back Urza. Hmm. There are so many papers on this. Well, interesting topic, not worth my mental effort energy. Oh, geez. Can did you get a gist of what the what the theses were? I think we're just playing Rafine's Tower here. I want a second black for or third black for cryptic. Or for Kroll Ultimatum, rather. Um Definitely don't need the other mountain. So play this guy. Or we actually could just play Tundra. That way we keep up Counterspell and a way to block Elder Gargaroth. I don't know if that's any good. Yeah, I like that better because it also lets us cycle Rafine's Tower if we want to. Yeah, Elder Gargroth's kind of a bitch. That thing is a pain. Chandra did not have enough to deal th four to him and then Koligon's command. It's not an artifact, so we can't kill it. <sighs> I mean, if we hit Cruel Ultimatum off the top, it's kind of good because we can Dream Halls, discard Counterspell, Cruel Ultimatum. Get back Urza. What else would be good? Atali would be sweet. Snapcaster to get back fourth Eurolingus or or inspired if Chandra lives would be sweet. Okay, this is nice. Yeah, thank God I kept this up. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that with that guy. I don't have double blue. That's that's bad. So, that being the case, huh, are we dead? Don't know. I guess we're going to do this. Two damage. Fuck. That's really bad. Um. Well. Choose target player. Discard. Kill this guy. One, two. Wow, I can't believe we didn't have double blue. How did I not see that? Jeez. That was a boner. I don't know if we actually survived this. We're at 19. Their guys get plus eight, plus six, plus five. Actually, we might survive it. Ugh. This is 19 plus 4, so 23. We'd have to double block, but we do survive. And then if we hit something good off the top, <laughs> they're going face with everything. So it's not terrible. Yeah, we're just going to lose both our guys, but... 4, 5, 6, 7... My god, one blue shy for counterspell. We wouldn't have actually had any blue if I didn't play Tundra, so... I don't know why I thought I had so much more blue than I do. And now Koligon's command is gone. Okay, so we actually have to cast it as soon as we do that. So do we have enough black? Black... No, not yet. That's a bummer. Okay, so if we hit Cruel Ultimatum, it's rough. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We don't have an untapped land either. Yeah, I think we're probably just dead here. I think we just exile and see what we hit. I bet it's a land. I don't even know what it could be to to give us any sort of advantage here. Boy, they're really, they're really slow rolling this. Buddy, I just want to look at, the, I just want to see the top card. 
Crater Huff and Elder Gargoth are really good to know. Fury. Does that do anything? None of these guys. This guy's this guy's a pain in the ass. Um jeez, oh, I don't think it does anything. We can kill both of these guys. Block. Yeah, we're just dead. Oh, we have another blocker here. Block here for three. Take three. I think we'll just cast it. I don't know. I didn't leave myself counterspell mana again. So that's unfortunate. I think I'm underestimating how much blue I have. And I'm also just... God. Ugh. This is frustrating. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. Like, this guy has trample. This guy having trample and this not being, neither of them being four is going to be the, uh, If I was literally at four life, much different game. God, they're really thinking this over. I wish I had a path to exile <laughs> or swords to plowshares or snap. Maybe they don't attack with both. Okay. Just to be clear, there's no way. I double block here, we take five. Are they going after us for both? Draw a card. Yes, they are. That's all I needed to know. All right. Anything else that kills big, stupid idiots. I kind of like Fire Covenant here. They have a bunch of dorks and creatures that I would just love to get rid of. I don't think Dak Faden does a ton. They don't seem to have many artifacts. Creative Clerk of Brutality also kills something. Uh, I think this is fine. Did they take our fourth Eorlingus with something? What did they take it with? Grief? <sighs> I will play first. I think we keep this. Dream Hall sets us up for some decent future draws. I think we just get a Rafine's Tower here. I need a second blue. Gives us a second white. I don't really feel like drawing a tapped land. Uh, I am here during the day a lot of days, so pretty much normal stream schedule, of course. <laughs> oh, well, so much for that. Why do you still have Fatal Push in there? That's so weird. You've seen, like, one creature that it actually hits. Fascinating. I mean, we don't have anything to go with Dream Halls yet anyway, so I guess it's fine, but... Still kind of a weird choice.
Would love to not have six lands one spell here, but we'll see if that's a thing that will happen. What do you want, little chief? <laughs> wow, they're just getting in there? Okay. Sounds good. Unfortunately, Koligon's command cannot return a dream halls to our hand. We can make them discard something, though. Mm, kind of like that. Discard a card? Sure. You, this guy. Black, red. Also, while you're getting real, real needy right now. Woodfall Primus. Fingers crossed you do not have a way to reanimate that. We have not seen one yet, but if we just helped you reanimate in game three when we've never seen any way to reanimate a creature, I'm going to be very disappointed. Recurring Nightmare. Invasion of Ikoria for one. Okay, so next turn they're going to Recurring Nightmare. Oh, they just got him from the graveyard. Okay. Well, our mana base is looking spicy. Would love to have some proactive plays. This guy just attacking? This is an interesting game. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. Ophiomancer. Like, they know that we have Fire Covenant. I think we're just Fire Covenanting here. This guy's a 1-2. We take one more damage. which I think is fine. Because next turn they're going to get a snake anyway, so it's just we're just going to pay more... Oh, come on, dude. We both have three cards. Our mana is better. Oh, well, by a lot, apparently, because they don't have any plays. Looks like they might have just discarded Woodfall Primus because it's not coming into play anytime soon. Seachrome Coast. All right. Come on, Inspired Ultimatum. Red, red, red. White, white, blue, blue. Cruel Ultimatum? Black, black... Nope, don't have Kroll. Do have Inspired. Fourth Eorlingus. That does give us the thing we want. All right. Black, blue. Demo. Is it fourth or is it Inspired? Inspired could hit a pig. I mean, we have so many. We have so many bangers. Fourth Year Lingus, Atali, Inspired Ultimatum. Those are our three bangers. Inspired draws us five and kills something. Fourth Year Lingus just kills them. We could actually just do it for three this turn. I think we do that. That feels correct.
It feels unlikely that they're going to be able to deal with three two twos and the monarch. Big Lingus energy. Hit him with the Lingus. Urza. Lord High Artificer. Yep, that'll do. All right, Lingus is a hell of a magic card. And round three. That's a Mulligan. That's a Keeperino. We can get rid of the seven drop. Man, you Mulligan and they give you a seven drop. It's like, you made it really easy. Appreciate it. I don't appreciate that I had a Mulligan, but I appreciate that you made it easy for me to choose which card was going in the garbage can. It's this one. He's the problem. It's him. All right. So start with this guy into this guy and then this guy, you know? Did I just have six my first turn? <laughs> well, shit. I was hoping that they would be kind and like skip a turn as well because it's a casual game and they said they're a big fan. They didn't. I'm a big fan, but it's a cutthroat. It's a cutthroat vintage cube, my friend. I don't give a fuck about who you are. I'll never give you an inch. That's how it goes. Oh, good. So, yeah, great. Fantastic. <sighs> you ever just lose a game because... Yeah, fantastic. Have fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah. Cool. Have fun. <laughs> Accidentally F6 my turn. Congratulations on your win. <laughs> the biggest fan there is. Love it. Absolutely love it. Take out this guy. Bring in Incinerate, I guess. We're in Collective Brutality. That's better than Incinerate. It kills most of the same creatures, but it also lets us rip something from their hand. Sure. So I'd love to draw another red card, like a Kroll Ultimatum, Inspire Ultimatum, Pitch a Tolly. That ain't it. That ain't it. I mean, it's more likely we're going to cast a Tolly here, so... So no Fallen Shinobi. Uh, we can make a 5-5, five five, but then it gives them access to the, the Dream Halls. Which is not ideal. Sure. Colgon's Command. Narset. Yep.
That's a card. I mean, they have they have to they have six cards, right? They obviously have a counter spell. I mean, we just have to start playing things, right? So they're choosing their modes for cryptic command. I'm sure. Yep. Yep, they've it's Mystic Confluence and they just realized they didn't have five mana. Yep, of course it is. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Rafine and Teferi, sure. Yep. Well, this could be a good fourth Irolingus, I guess. Oh, especially because they just plussed. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for six. Four at Teferi, two at your face, but then they still have this guy. It's kind of obnoxious. Uh, so I'm tempted to just play one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. Like we have Narset and then we can Dream Halls if we hit something good. And if we don't, we can Chandra kill Fallen Shinobi. Oh, actually we can send three here. One, two, three, four, five. We can make six guys, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three here, one at your face, and keep two back to block. But then they just have Baleful Strix to get the Monarchy back. I am confused what the best option is here. I think it's got to be Eeyore Lingus, right? Even though they have seven cards in hand. <laughs> cool. I had fun. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.